Hey guys, welcome back for more Rune Factory 4 Special Edition. So let's continue, come on. So last time we basically learned about the basics, let's learned go. about a character, learned some of the characters. But today I think we'll meet more of the townspeople. Yes, so let's go. I need to check this one, right? Request box? It is. Is this a request box? It doesn't look like a box. Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Eliza. Eliza? Eliza. Uh, let's say Eliza. Who is that? Where are you? You can hear me? I can, but I can't see you. I'm right in front of your face. Whoa, the request box is talking to me. Maybe I should go to the clinic? No, that won't be necessary. I am Eliza, the request box. And... I'm ever so glad you can hear me now, or listen up. So listen up, I mean. <laughs> Inside me is a list of all important requests everyone has made. Because let's face it, everyone needs help sometimes. But you can't solve all of them at once. No, no. So I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Okay. You're quite smart. Let's start by trying it out. Try taking a request. Let's start with this one. First task, okay. Turnip seed. Write it down. Okay, I wrote down the details of the request in my notebook. You can check your current request by accessing the notebook. J. Okay, well that should be enough explained for one day. Your head, your head is liable to explode. Start by going to the castle right away. Oh yeah, first task. This one, okay. This one, right? So this is the order symbol, right? But what, what am I supposed to be looking at exactly? Oh, it's Arthur again. What's, why is this book like that? <laughs> you check requ you check for requests at the request box, I assume. Yes. Oh yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming here. I've been trying to find you. I would like to discuss your duties as a prince. What do you mean? The main role of a prince is to give directives to help shape the future of the nation. These directives are regarded as orders. And this is the place where you can make your orders. Orders? I think it would be easier to understand if you simplify. Try it. Please make an order with this. 50 prince points what are these these are the points you'll need to spend to make orders they're representative of your skill and reputation as a bona fide prince you can make many different kinds of orders by using this prince points hmm okay well give it a try choose any order you'd like got it okay let's begin my prince duties Development. I can upgrade the size and capacity of various things. Backpack or farm? Okay. New backpack. 50 points. Let's do it. That was the order. <laughs> I've graded my backpack. Now I can carry more items. Good afternoon. You finally made an order. Yes. I did. Easy, wasn't it? Just use your prince points to make an order. And whatever you ask of your loyal subjects, it will come to pass without fail. Isn't it a little oppressive though, for my will to be done without any question, I mean? But you are a prince. A prince, huh? Oh, well, what's wrong? I just don't want uh, to make people mad by being too demanding, you know? This whole thing feels really selfish, I guess? No need to worry about that. It's not as if you can do absolutely anything you want, after all. It sounds like I can, though. Not as long as there are prince points you can. Put simply, prince points show how much people trust you as a prince. As you complete requests from the request box, you'll earn more prince points. In short, it's only when people trust you that you can save up enough prince points to matter. It takes a lot of points to affect any sort of major change. 
So if you're not trusted or well liked, your powers are very limited. I see. Just think of it this way. If you have enough points to give an order, then you've earned the right to give that order. And since you've now completed my request, yeah. allow me to give you this token. Yes. Hmm, you should have noticed that your prince points just went up. How do I check? According to the royal guard, let's see. Or royal guy, let's see. Look on the upper right of the screen. What does that mean exactly? Sounds strangely meta. No doubt, you don't usually earn this much from one request. There's just one more thing I want you to do, and it will require a large number of points. So I added a bit of bonus, a show of confidence in you as it were. Oh, what do you want me to do? Well, let's go on to the next request, shall we? The next request is to increase the number of tourists in this town by making an order. Tourists? Indeed. Money goes where the people go after all. And the more money you make, the more you can develop the country. The role of a prince is to make the country a better place to be. And simply put, to accomplish that, tourists are absolutely essential. Alright, that makes sense. So let's hold a festival to attract tourists, shall we? A festival? This is another one of those things you'll like to learn a bit easier simply by doing it. Try to order a festival. I think it should be better to choose a festival you can hold as soon as possible. That way, you'll get a feel for the whole process much more quickly. Okay, let's do it. Dude, I got a thousand now. What the hell? Bean toss defla defluffing cooking contest. What is defluffing? Yes. I don't know what that was. I just I just clicked it. Let's do it. Order place for the fluffing festival that will event will occur on spring 19. Good afternoon. Well done. You attracted more tourists by getting the town's name out there. And if the festival is a rousing success, like if you could participate in it personally and really boost spirits, then you'll attract even more tourists and this town will be a booming metropolis in no time. I see. So what is Apprentice Prince exactly? That's your title. Your present prince is title is determined by the number of your tourists. As you advance in rank, you'll be able to issue more and more complex orders. The more tourists you bring in, the more the town will develop and the more new items you'll be able to purchase. For example, new vegetables and flower seeds, stronger weapons, more reliable armor. All of which will also help you complete more complex requests. Best of luck to you, your majesty. Yes. Thank you. Well, that does it for my explanation of Prince work, so I guess my job here is done. You should check the request box every day, though it's very, very important. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ooh, I got a chest. A lot of turnip seeds. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, keep. Why, why is this equipped? <laughs> How do we attack again? Circle, circle. I'm not, I'm not using the controls yet. I'll give you a new request next time. By the way... How to place furniture. What? Also, I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. I guess I can go around town now. Okay, there's a map on the right side. On the left side, I mean. Nancy? Hello, Les. That's right, I haven't given you my name yet, have I? I'm Nancy, pleased to meet you. How formal. Nid be, sweetie, you can relax here. Well then, if you insist. Though it's much easier said than done, I'm sure... Don't you worry. Huh? Take it easy and get used to things a little at a time, there's no rush. You'll find that everyone here is kind and easygoing. Though, there are very few nosy old ladies around like me. Yeah. I see. Old? Oh, but please don't call me an old lady to my face, okay? That would hurt my feelings. Okay, let's check. Illum Illuminata? Vishnal is here. 
Oh, hello. You're... I'm last. Yeah. Right, right, last. So you moved into town then? Yes. yes. Hello. Illuminata, the great detective. Illuminata. Wait, didn't I tell you all this before? No. Right, you did. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Well, and since you're the town newcomer, let me give you a word of advice. <laughs> if you want flower seeds, you come to my shop. Got it? To your shop? Yes. Right. I run a flower shop. Feel free to stop by any time. Dude, we're in the flower shop. Bye. Anyways, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, there are only people here. We met Vishnu already. It's closed. Hello. Shall buy. Is she the klutz character? Ah, last. Hmm? Hi, hi. Well, you're used to town now, yes? No, no this would be too soon, I think. Yes. But there's no hurry. Take your time and you'll find your place. Thank you. Oh, by the way. Yes? May I ask your name? No. Oh, this isn't the first time we've met, yes? Can't you remember? Um, it's hard to remember a name I haven't been told. Oh. Well, don't worry, well, don't worry about it. This happens all the time. Okay. After all, I didn't even get my name added to the gift exchange drawings. No, I told you it's not that. I forgot. I was just so busy thinking about my own problems that I forgot to ask for a proper introduction. Oh. So I don't think we probably introduce ourselves. Now that you mention it, I do seem to remember it being Clorica who told me your name. Oops. It seems I was a little clumsy, much like Mama. Sorry, I told you she was the clumsy character. Oh, well. This happens all the time too. Don't worry about it. Huh? But anyway, I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes. Why, thank you. So, um, your name? <gasps> Oops. Also, this the characters that have like animated scenes can be your marriage partners, right? Welcome. Blossom. Hello there. Um, since I'll be living here now, I thought I'd come around and introduce myself properly. Oh my. How courteous of you. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Oh yes. We we're in such a rush before, I forgot to mention that I run a general hospital. Or general general store, I mean sorry. General store? Yes. I run it right here, out of my home. If there's anything you need to do, stop by. Yes. I will. Excuse me? Clorica is always sleepy. Oh, hello. Les. Oh, yes. That's right. Hello, Les. I'll remember your name next time, I promise. So, welcome. I look forward to serving you. Okay, we met Shaupa. Okay, let me go up here. Hello. Oh. Kiel. Oh, hey, it's less. Hmm? The whole town is talking about you already. They say you're the person who just moved here. From up in the sky. Wait, what? Hey. So why did you decide to move down here if you were living up high? Air Tutin? <laughs> um, uh, well... Oh, yeah. That's right. They also said you lost all your memories. I'm so sorry. Sorry. It wasn't very nice of me to bring that up, wasn't it? It's okay. Well, if there's ever anything you want to know more about, come ask I've me. I've been studying this whole area for a long time now. I know more about it than anyone else who lives here. Oh, and I like hearing about things from other people too. So if you're curious about any rumors, I can probably fill you in on those too. Really? Thanks. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? Well... How about your name? I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kiel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
Or Colleen. Or Colleen de Saint Coquille. Okay. Hi, I'm Lest. Very unique character. A, ple a pleasure to meet you, Lest. Now then, allow moi to introduce myself again in a sexier voice. I am Poor Colleen de Saint Coquille. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Wow, it's kind of weird. Okay, we met him. Yes. Next. Here. Can we go inside this? Welcome. Lin Fa. Last. Oh no, she's not a character that we can partner up because there's no animated scene, right? Hi. Hello there. My name is Lin Fa. Okay. Oh. Hmm? Now that I think about it, this is this isn't the first time we've met, isn't it? No, but I was a kinda I was kinda in a rush before. Oh my, so we hadn't have a chance to introduce ourselves then. Well then how about we do that now? I am very pleased to meet you. Me too. Okay, there's someone in the bath, so we can't talk to them. Hey. Dog. Oh, it's just you. Hello? Why does it look mad at me? Yes? And nothing. You kinda seem all stuffy and formal. Is everyone in the royal family like that? Lighten up, it's fine. But I mean it. Well, if you insist, not that I'm actually royalty, but Yes. Great. So do you remember my name? Okay, I'll try this. Dog. His name's Dog. Right. You do? Awesome. I work here in the general store with Granny Blossom. If you've met her. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff, so stop on by and buy something, okay? See ya. Anyway, it's good to meet you. Okay, there's this guy here. Blacksmith. Welcome. Bado. Hi, and you are. I'm Les. It's nice to meet you. Whoa. Oh yeah, you're the new kid who has the memory issues, right? I'm Bado, I operate the forge. But forging stuff is really exhausting, so I don't do it too much. What? So you ha have you remembered anything yet? I'm afraid not. Oh. Well, how about you try buying this then? What is it? Memory recovery medicine. What? How much? Uh, that's a whole lot of happy expectation in your, uh, in your eyes there. Sorry. Huh? All I want to do is make lots of money without working much. But, you know, I've never really liked taking advantage of people either. So don't go f falling for great deals that sound too good to be true, okay? Okay, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. What is your problem, sir? <laughs> okay, we, ha we have met technically a lot of people now. Okay, this there's one here. Dog. Okay, she went outside though. Let me let me follow her first. Yeah, that girl. Good afternoon. No, no, no. Uh, here, here. Before she gets inside. She went inside. No. Welcome. This one. Who is she? She's an elf. <laughs> Margaret, if you need anything, just let me know, okay? Thanks. I will, thanks. Oh, that's right. You are a prince, aren't you? Is it too impolite for me to call you just lust? No, that's fine. I don't mind at all. Great. Then that's what I'll call you. Okay. Oh, and you can just call me Margaret. Of course. This town is pretty big. I hope you aren't getting lost. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Oh, and try not to walk around too late at night, okay? It can be dangerous. Okay. And be careful of this other thing, too. There are so many things I worry about. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we can go to the, to the bottom right for the last person. The one who looks like a soldier. Lady soldier. 
Okay, she's gonna come here. Wait for her. Forte? Oh, this is the one I want. She's gonna be my waifu. I feel an unfamiliar presence. Huh? Oh, she's gonna attack me. It was you, Les. My apologies. I'm glad I did not cut you down. <laughs> um. Where are my manners? My name is Forte. Forte. I serve the Holy Lady Ventuswill as her faithful Dragon Knight. Okay, this Dragon Knight's gonna be my wife. Dragon Knight. That's right. You're missing all your memories. Yeah. Uh, oh goodness. Sorry. My apologies. I hope I've not spoken to and delicately oh no it's okay don't worry about it still it was an inappropriate topic to bring up i'm sorry anyway dragonite as the name suggests it is my duty to protect lady ventus will on paper at least hmm? the power of mere human is nothing compared to hers she hardly requires the help of one oh that makes sense i guess yes I didn't know Venti was that powerful. So, though I hold the title of Dragon Knight, in truth, my duty is to guard this town. Accordingly, if you should have any problems, please feel free to come speak with me. I will do whatever I can to help. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate that. So I've met everyone, right? Yeah, technically I've met everyone now. Good afternoon. Good day, your majesty. It seems you have greeted everyone in town. <laughs> Selfie is a marvelous place. I'm sure you will grow to love it in no time. I think I need to sleep, right? So we can get more requests for tomorrow. Yes. Because Eliza said... You can do the request tomorrow. Here are today's requests. How to place furniture. Write it down. Okay, I wrote it down. The details of my request in my notebook. The request is from Chlor. It's a Chlorica for sure. Who is this? It's partially unreadable, but I'm going to assume it's from Chlorica. She probably fell asleep while wi wi while writing this. Oh well. Looks like she wants you to learn how to use furniture through this request. Chlorica sent you a storage box. It came with a letter, so let's see. The storage box can fit everything but raw food. But that's not all, so listen closely. You can place furniture like this storage box anywhere you want. To move a piece, just examine it and select pick it up. Yes. You can decorate your room any way you'd like. And if you decide you no longer need an item, you can just break it to pieces. Try different arrangements though and see how they suit you. I would recommend placing useful furniture like the storage box in your room though. And that's all she wrote. Well, like she said, you can try experimenting with different arrangements. When you're satisfied with how things look, talk to me again. Uh, how do I... Uh, pick it up. Let's put the storage box... Here. Can you put it outside though? No, no, I'll put it here. So, what do you think? Did you get a hang of it? Absolutely. Alright, you complete the request. It seems Slorka is giving you something useful as a reward. Let's see. Oh, is it a calendar? You can check people's birthdays and festival schedules with it. There are many other types of furniture too. I'm sure that someone will sell some to you once you become an esteemed prince. Well, that's all for now from Chlorica. Honestly, that girl is hopeless. Well, you did a great job, so let's continue with this tomorrow. I need to sleep again. I mean, I guess it's okay to sleep, right? Every time. Put it here. Check it. Fishing Frenzy Contest. My birthday. Spring Harvest Festival. The Fluffing Festival. It's this one, right? Yeah, but we have no requests, right? Yeah, no requests for now. Yes. It's a sunny day. 
Here are today's requests. Make lumber. Write it down. Okay, I wrote it down. The details of my request in my notebook. From Forte this time. From my waifu. Okay, looks like the whole town's trying to help you out. So lucky. I guess. Let's see. Today's request is chopping lumber. Lumber is used in building large furniture and extending rooms. I would like for you to learn how lumber is produced. She sounds stiff even in writing, huh? But she left you a gift. Ooh, an axe. Here we go. You can make lumber by chopping up stumps and branches. Stumps and branches can be found on the fields. First start by using the axe to make lumber. Even if you can find stumps or branches, they will naturally grow over time. I got that all. When you're done making lumber, talk to me. Equip. Keep. Good morning. <laughs> this one, right? Chop it. I got a lot of things. Take the weeds. How about this one? Can you make this? Oh, okay, you can make this lumber as well. Good morning. Good morning. Venti. Okay, request box. Since you'll be using a lot of lumber, storage is necessary. So here's what you can use. A lumber and stone box. You can pick it up and place it inside for storage. That seems to be it. a very dry, but consider it. It seems you can also use store material stone there. But I'll talk about it next time. Oh, by the way. Are you used to taking requests yet? I can give you two per day starting tomorrow if you want. Well done. I'll give you more requests tomorrow. Okay, let's do the request for now. Let's put this at the back. Put it next to this. No, no, no. I'm accidentally sell it. So put it. No, no, no. This side, this side, this side. Yes. Uh, how do we equip items again? Now, what is the shortcut again? Oh my god, I forgot. Hold. Put it there. We got we got rock as well. Put it in. Can we put it inside? Oh, you can't put it there. Okay. So starting tomorrow, we can do two more requests. I mean, the only thing we can do is just sleep, right? Yes. What dreadful weather. Okay, request today. Make a shipment. More seeds available at the general store. Write it down. This is a request from Visional this time. He's offering to teach you how to ship through this request. Let's see. Here's what he has to say. Okay, I like to request a shipment. First, place one turnip into the shipping box in the field. Okay. So you should start by putting one turnip in and just to get a feel for how things work. That's the extent of it. Vishal sent you a fine turnip to use in this trial run, it seems. If you lose it, you'll have to grow another one yourself. Okay. Let's just hold it like this. I might accidentally eat it, right? This one, right? Shipping box. Place it. Oh, how do we destroy this rune crystal? Good, it seems you've done your part. Now remember, any item placed in the shipping box will be shipped at 8 that very morning or the next day. You can learn new things one by one just like this. Before you know it, you'll be a pro at handling requests. Here, Vishnu sent you a letter. Amazing. Wow, you did a great job. Oh yes, yeah, so I have the general store to increase the variety of seeds they sell. Buy seeds at the store, grow them, and ship out as much produce as you can. And then it ends with a, let's happy farming. Must be a joke. <laughs> anyway, you're done for today. You said we could do two requests per day. Are you serious? Remember she said that?
Okay, here are today's requests. Give an item. Deliver turnip to Chlorica. Write it down. I really need a fine turnip. Would you please get me one? Okay. So this time I'm going to teach you how to give out items. I already know. First, pick up the item you'd like to give. Then press X near the person you're giving it to. Then it will indicate that you want a present as a gift. Hmm. Uh, she's, I think she's still sleeping though, right? It's too early. Oh, uh, there she is. Just woke up. Oh, you saw my request. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I'd like to give you these chip sickle as a thank you. Cheap sickle? Cheap sickle. By using this to reap crops, you'll be able to get your hands on some high quality seeds. And, well, you can also get rid of weeds fairly quickly that way. It is a very useful tool for cleaning the field. Wow, thank you. I am impressed with the work you have done so far, Les. You seem to have really gotten the hang of handling requests from the request box. Thank you. That's because Eliza has been helping me out a lot, and you and everybody else too. Eliza? Yeah, the request box. She's a little wacko, but very helpful nonetheless. I see. So you even name boxes, huh? Oh, they can't hear the boxes. That's kind of cute, like playing with a doll. Um, well, thanks again for your help. Okay. And that's weird. Does Glorica not know about Eliza? I did it! Purchase rice. Okay, from Margaret. Have you gone shopping yet? There are many stores in this town, such as the flower shop and the general store. I want you to try buying rice at the general store, please. If you can't seem to find rice, try switching shelves. Good luck. She left some money too. 200 Gs. Okay, the general store is right here. Is it open? Nine? Okay, how do I advance time though? Everybody's still sleeping. It's too early. Nine as well. Did we, did, did we meet this girl yet? We haven't met her yet. Raven. By the way. What is by the way? Hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Les. Raven. Do you live here? Yeah. Are you a traveler, Raven? No. I heard there's a rare ore here, so I came to find some. I see. I have some. Need any? I'll take it. Arrowhead? But one iron. I love you. What happens if I say this? Oh, she's blushing. Don't tease me. Stupid. Uh, okay. Can we go outside now, or? May I? Ah, let's. Are you going somewhere? There are monsters outside of town, so it's dangerous to be wandering around. Monsters? Yes. yes. You can avoid them mostly, but sooner or later, you may have to fight. Meaning, I'd have to cut them down. That's right. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> You're sweet, Les. No, I just mean... Don't worry. Defeating monsters doesn't mean you're killing them. What? For example, the weapons and farm tools we use have a magic spell called Tamitaya cast upon them. This Tamitaya prevents our attacks from actually harming the monsters, instead sending them to the Forest of Beginnings. The Forest of Beginnings? 
That'd be the world in which the monsters live. They enter a world through roads called gates. I see. To send them back to the Forest of Beginnings, you'll need a weapon with Tamitaya's spell cast upon it. Do you have such a weapon in your possession? I do. <laughs> Looks like you're all set then. Still, give this one a try. You might like it. Claymore? Long swords are highly effective and cover large areas. You can attack multiple monsters at once too. Its downside is it's too slow, which leaves you vulnerable to counterattacks. So try to anticipate your enemy's moves and use it accordingly. Thank you very much. Weapons are important partners that you entrust with your life. You should find out yourself. Which weapon suits you best? I will. I think uh, that does it for the explanations. However, I must ask you one more thing before you leave. How confident are you in your skills? Uh, I am decent-ish. Normal. Yeah, it's just normal difficulty, man. I'm not gonna do hell difficulty. I wanna have fun with this. The enemies around you are fairly harmless, so don't worry. But you should require. But should you require my help, please let me know. Oh, and one more thing. When the enemy strength overwhelms you, gaze upon the trophy in the castle basement. Hmm? I'm not sure what it means, but it's a charm we knights have passed on for quite some time. Should you become overwhelmed, it might be worth trying. Okay. Was that it? I'll try not to forget. Now, there's something I'd like to give you, if I may. Bread. Is this... You must always strive to carry food with you when you're leaving town. By eating food, you'll gain benefits such as health restoration and time skill boost. This benefits change depending on the type of food you eat. I'll keep that in mind. My apologies for being so noisy. Nosy. Please be careful. You still look sleepy. I think we'll try to explore next episode. Yeah, I don't want to explore right now. I was just checking if there's something there. Oh, have we met this girl? Red hair? Oh yeah, we met her first last time. Illuminata. Of course. Why not? I still close. Grandma's still sleeping. And dog. Okay. I think. Okay, so that is it for the episode today. So basically, we did more of the tutorials, technically how we play, how to play the game and stuff, do more quests, do the princely duties, the prince points and stuff, right? And also met the characters. So I've decided I would go for Forte. Yeah, she's gonna be my wife. Eh? We're gonna raise her. What do you call those again? The one with the hearts, I forgot what it's called. Not, not synergy, attraction, or whatever it's called. But yeah, she's gonna, she's the one I'll do. <laughs> yeah, it sounds kind of bad. I'll do. But yeah, she's the one. And because we, we've met everyone else, right? And yeah, she's the one I like. She's like a warrior. She's like Saber. So next episode, we'll try and do the exploring for the first time, right? That would be very nice. Let's see, how does, like, how is the pacing of this game, by the way, right? Like, is it fast? Is it just pretty linear? Just go to this area, explore it. But yeah, we need to go home from time to time for sure, because there's a, there's a time. Yeah, there's a time. So if you don't go back, you're going to lose your health or you're going to fall asleep, right? Just like in Harvestella back then. It's the same as that. And we have different weapons, I think. Yeah, we have a claymore now. We got a broadsword last time. And now we have claymores. Maybe that affects stamina. I actually don't know. I'm not sure. But this game is gonna get... It's pretty exciting, honestly. We have festivals to look forward to in the future. And we chose the defluffing festival. I don't even know what this, what defluffing means. Maybe... Fluffing? Maybe sheep or something? Maybe we're gonna remove those... So yeah, anyways, I will just continue this in the next episode, guys. So I'll just see you then. Bye-bye.